Do you want to do some clay cracking with me? Let's go. Don't wait for tomorrow. What's up guys? It's Dr. Squish. Welcome back to my channel today. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. Uh, last video I did was a huge fidget basket and at the very end I found this! This clay cracking kit and you guys overwhelmingly said Yes! Do the clay cracking kit! We want to see it! <laughs> so I try to give you guys what you want! <laughs> if you don't even know what I'm talking about, uh, lots and lots of videos for the past few years have done ASMR videos uh, where they are making air dry clay, painting it, and then painting it with nail polish or some other kind of clear varnish, and then after it dries you can smush it, crack it, and it makes amazing sounds. Very satisfying. I actually... Funny enough, have never done clay cracking. I have seen a lot of clay, cl clay, clay cracking in my day, but I've never done it myself. So this is my very first time delving into clay cracking. This was $5 at uh, Five Below. And so it's supposed to have everything I need for clay cracking goodness. And we will see if that is true. I'm going to be reviewing this kit today and seeing what I think. Are you ready? Let's go crack some clay! Let's get into this clay cracking kit. It claims we have everything you need to mold, paint, seal, and crack this clay. So let's open it up and see what we actually get. Here's a huge pouch of clay. Uh, it is so tight. Oh my gosh, it's like it's gonna pop. What the heck? Um, there's also the mold. So it looks like we have some burgers. Here's the buns, I guess. Uh, obviously the patty, some lettuce, tomato fries, and looks like mushrooms and pepperoni for the pizza. No pizza stuff though. Here's the instruction guide and looks like the paints, paintbrush, and varnish. So the paintbrush is kind of cheap, but soft at least. You only get one and only four colors of paint. That's kind of crappy. And here is the nail polish that we paint on at the end of everything. So here's everything we got. Let's look at the instructions. Uh, actually, it says it's a design guide. So ugh. it actually looks like there's not really instructions in here, just some helpful hints, which is not great. Even this down here is not really instructions. It just is telling me kind of how long to let things dry. <laughs> so let's just start making them. Okay, so the clay is actually really soft which it should be. Air dry clay should be really soft. It actually almost looks like slime. Let's uh, make these fries. And notice that in the picture, the fries are double-sided and this is just one-sided, so I'm gonna have to make two. So I'm going to get it all in the nooks and crannies of the fry mold and I'm already running into a problem. Guys, this clay is too soft to get out of the mold. And when I press on the mold, like from the back, it just distorts the clay and that's not how, this is not how it's supposed to work. This is a problem. Uh, okay, I can't get this out of here, like at all. This is not working. Oh gosh, this is terrible. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't think that's how it's supposed to look. I got half a fry. Okay, I'm gonna try an experiment with the mushroom. Uh, I think that if I put the clay in and then use another piece of clay to stick to it and get it out, maybe I can pull it out that way. So here, here it goes. Yep, that works. I'm just gonna have to cut off the back with scissors, but it actually came out pretty well. So let's do the same thing with the fries. I'm gonna get it all back down in there and use this piece of clay to just snatch it out. Three, two, one, one. <laughs> okay, it's working. It actually came out and that looks pretty good. I mean, we just need another one. Uh, and I have to cut this off because that clay is really sticky. It sticks to itself really well. So let's do another one. And when we stick them together, I think that once we get them painted, this will look really good. So that's, that looks pretty much like the box. So let's go ahead and make the hamburger. We're gonna do the bottom bun and uh, we're gonna do the patty exactly the same way. Ah, cute. And then I'm just gonna cut out a flat piece, like a flat square piece for the cheese. You don't have to have cheese right on top of the patty. Look how cute. I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna make uh, one and a half pieces of the lettuce to poke out the sides the same way. And then I'm gonna make two tomatoes so that they can kind of poke out of either side of the, the burger. And I think the toppings are gonna look really, really cute. So 
Uh, now we're gonna do the bun. That's the biggest piece, the top bun, and put it on top. And actually, look at my burger. Oh my gosh, it turned out way better than I thought. That's super duper cute, guys. I'm so excited. I'm making kind of like a triangular type shape for the pizza. And I get a pizza! And just putting the crust on the back. And I'm gonna put on my mushrooms and the pepperonis that I made with the mold. And that's, that's all there is to pizza. There was no mold for the pizza. So I think that turned out pretty cute. And I am also gonna make a pretzel. They have a hot dog or a pretzel. You just kind of roll out a snake and then you can fold it into a pretzel, I hope. And fold it around like that, and that's kind of a pretzel-y shape, I suppose. So now we can move on to painting these. So I'm going to start with the lightest color. That's what the helpful hints said to do, to start with light. I'm actually really impressed with how well this yellow paint is covering up. It could have been really cheap. It looks like I'm only going to need one coat, uh, and that's really actually pretty impressive. But th this brush is not great. And I only get one brush, so, you know, I'm gonna have to use it for all the colors. It's leaving little hairs everywhere. The bristles are literally coming out and I'm having to pick hairs. You can see them on the stuff. I'm having to pick them out of everywhere. It's not, not good. I could use my own brushes, but I really wanted to review this kit as it is. So it ain't great. <laughs> so I put all of the other colors on. I'm doing the darkest last, which is this brown. Clearly this is gonna be the color for the hamburger patty, but what about the bun and the pizza crust? I am gonna have to mix colors to get that because they're not supposed to be this dark. So I think in order to get the color from the box, I'm gonna have to put the brown into the yellow. So let's just go ahead and dip some of that in there and start mixing and see what color we get. I'm just gonna keep mixing it in until it looks like what I think a bun color is. And this looks pretty good. I mean, that's kind of the same color from the front of the box, I think. So let's check it out, see if it's bun colors. Pretty good. But I mean, we didn't get this color. <laughs> you know, it didn't come with the kit. And it also didn't have anything that said to mix it on the instructions. So I'm just doing what I think I sh I'm supposed to, but I think they look pretty good. Now I have to let them dry for a bit before I can glaze them. They look awesome. All right, the paint is all dry. So now I can put on the nail polish, which that's what it looks like to me. And I know in clay cracking videos, that's what they use. Oh dear, guys. This is not nail polish. I know it looks like it, but it is absolutely not. This is really thick and really sticky. And nail polish kind of goes on smoothly. This is not going on smoothly at all. It's actually quite difficult to get it on there. I don't like this. Uh, I was only able to do these three and this is all that's left. I definitely don't have enough to do the pretzel because I still have to do the bottom of these three pieces. So doing those three pieces, I don't have enough to do the pretzel. It's not enough. They didn't give me enough. So that is really not great for this kit. There is no way that I can do the pretzel and still have enough left over to glaze the bottoms of the pieces I've already done. I don't like it. Okay, so I did the bottoms of the pieces and they have dried overnight, but guys, let me show you something weird that happened overnight. So yesterday when I was painting the burger, I painted along the edge. It was sitting on the parchment paper just like this and I just painted along the edge of the bun and overnight it puffed up. You can see how much it grew overnight and like domed out. That's so crazy. I don't get it. I don't know why it did that. The pizza did it a little bit, you can see and uh, so did the fries. It's kind of puffed up in the back. I don't I don't know why they did that. Uh, this is all that's left and I can barely get the paintbrush down there. Definitely not enough for the pretzel. So far, let me give you some thoughts on this kit before we go into the clay cracking. It's not great. <laughs> And I'll tell you why. So I only did the, the kit. I did not do anything outside of the kit because I wanted to review the kit itself. This kit, not like what I could do extra. So it's got like one, two, three, four, five things on the front, but I was only able to make four things with the clay. There was a lot of clay, but four things. I could not glaze them all with what I put in the kit. So if you did this kit and wanted it to be great, you would need a better kit paintbrush number one or multiple paintbrushes better paint because there was only four colors and maybe you want to do some because like you see these like little spots like salt on the the pretzel and sesame seeds on the bun there's no white to do that with so you need extra and you definitely need more glaze i only made four things didn't even do five and there wasn't enough glaze so you, it it's already getting some points off 
for me because you don't even get to do all the things. Now I am going to do the cracking. I'm really excited about this part and we are gonna crack some clay. Okay, so we are ready to do some clay cracking. Uh, I am ready to <laughs> do some clay cracking. I hope that this works out the way I intend for it to. So let's see. Shh, we're gonna do ASMR. <laughs> Okay, so this one did not work out. Uh, Little Squish pointed out to me that it looks like a poop. It does, in fact, look like a poop. Let's do the pizza first. Ready? Okay. So that actually worked really good. It was super crispy. Uh, I mean, and now you're just left with this. It smells weird, <laughs> but that was so super crispy. Okay, last one is the burger. Uh, I hope this one has a really good crack. It's got a lot of the clay in it, so it should be nice and soft. These have had really good cracks so far, so here we go. just in case you're interested what this poop <laughs> this pretzel sounds like with no glaze on it here's what happens when you don't have glaze pretty much nothing so now I have a pile of this uh, and I actually think this has to be thrown away because it's full of this glaze and stuff you can't actually really use it now for anything else okay so what is the verdict on the clay cracking kit a few things First of all, I think that the pop was really good. The, the pop? The crack. The clay cracking. <laughs> we crack clay. I think that was actually really good, but it sounded good. Was it easy? Yeah, it was easy. Was there enough of everything? No. No, it was only $5, but I have a few things to say about that. There was only four colors of paint. To get these colors that they have on the box, I had to mix paint, uh, and it would have been easier if there was other colors. Probably look better. Definitely the brush was garbage. Um, hair is just coming out, and I can't stand that. You, you really needed your own brushes. You probably needed your own glaze. There wasn't enough glaze to glaze all of the pieces. If your kids ask for this, go ahead and say no, because this was not a kid-friendly step. This was not good at all. Uh, it wasn't anything like nail polish. It didn't go on smooth. It didn't go, it was really thick and sticky. I cannot imagine letting my kid use this. Like I, I can't. Even if you think they could do it, yeah, I'm sure that they could. Little Squish could probably do this. It wasn't hard, but this was just so messy. So thick and sticky and messy and gross. Uh, now I'm left with a big wad of clay. And there's really nothing that can be done with this clay. It's, it's ruined. It has to go in the garbage. So after they have done the clay cracking, there's nothing else to be done. It is cool, but here's the thing. You can have air dry clay, your own paint, and some clear nail polish, and you could probably get every bit of that at the dollar store and have the same thing. I just don't think that this kit was necessary. Maybe they're thinking because this came with it, and as you saw, this did not make anything easier. I could have made a burger without this. I could have, I did make a pizza without this. I had to do my own pretzel. <laughs> Even though Little Squish made fun of my pretzel. I don't know, just as a kit, it was like, meh. But I did have fun and I hope you guys have fun watching me do it. Thank you for giving me all of the suggestions. Uh, if you do try it out or if you have tried it out, leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of it and uh, if you thought that I was a little too harsh on it. I don't think I was, but anyway, I hope you guys had fun and I will see you on my next show. Bye-bye, squishy fans!